It's software giant Microsoft's biggest deal in its 36-year history, buying popular internet phone service Skype. Microsoft announced it's paying $8.5 billion for the Luxembourg-based company, which has been losing money. But Microsoft is not necessarily looking for immediate financial returns. It's Skype's technology and its loyal following that they're after, as well as getting ahead of Google in the booming market for internet communications. Skype users logged on and made 207 billion minutes of voice and video calls last year alone. The person whom you're trying to reach... That's potential market for Microsoft's Windows and Office software and a potential link-up with its Xbox game system. Skype is a phenomenal brand, even though uh, it, it doesn't make money. Uh, lots and lots and lots of people use it. It is uh, a, a now a generic word the way, you know, Google and Scotch tape is. I'm going to Skype you. Joining us now via Skype from Cairo. Broadcasters frequently use Skype as a cheap and easy way to bring in guests and reports from remote locations. So for the over 100 million consumers and business people who use Skype to call family, friends, colleagues and clients on the other side of the world or in just the next room, how does this deal affect them? One of the big concerns um, that some people have is whether or not Microsoft will continue to support the platforms which aren't Windows. And that includes products from rival Apple. It's unlikely that Microsoft will scrap Skype as it's now known. Microsoft has a reputation, unfounded or not, uh, of buying companies and uh, stripping them, uh, getting the personnel, uh, eliminating them so they could put out their less than good version without any competition. I, I can't imagine that their purpose in buying Skype is to eliminate Skype. So Skype is here to stay, but the question remains, will you be able to use it on all of your devices in the future? Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, New York.